Remember that seeking out information is not only necessary but also empowering, it allows you to partner with your child's care providers to make the best decisions for your child and your family. MGD is a disorder of sexual differentiation in which a chromosomal abnormality causes a child to be born with two different gonads, an undescended testis and a dysgenetic, malformed, streak gonad. MGD is one of the most common disorders of sexual dysfunction and the second most common cause of ambiguous genitalia, sexual organs that aren't well formed or aren't clearly male or female. Most cases of MGD involve an abnormal chromosomal pattern called a mosaic. This means that the child is born with the chromosomes, 46Z, 45Z. This chromosomal abnormality drives the formation of two different gonads, an undescended testicle on one side, and a dysgenetic, improperly developed, gonad on the opposite side. Children with MGD typically have ambiguous genitalia making it difficult to classify them as boys or girls. The two different gonads can't produce normal sex hormones, resulting in malformed sex organ signs and symptoms. What are the symptoms of MGD? People with MGD are asymptomatic, which means that they present no observable signs of the disorder. MGD can only be detected through medical examination and diagnostic tests. Children with MGD also tend to be shorter than average. Causes What causes mixed gonadal dysgenesis, MGD? In a normal pattern of sexual development, chromosomes, gonads, and hormones function like this. Chromosomes and gonads Gonads are the body's primary sex organs. They form according to a specific chromosomal pattern. Normally, Females are born with two X chromosomes, 20, and males are born with one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, Z. As a result of this chromosomal pattern, boys develop gonads called testicles and females develop gonads called ovaries. Hormones The primary function of the gonads is producing hormones. Normally, testes produce the male hormone testosterone and ovaries produce the female hormone estrogen. These hormones aid in the formation of sex organs. The testosterone produced from the male testes drive the formation of a phallus. The estrogen produced by female ovaries result in the formation of a sexual development in children with MGD. Children with MGD are born with an abnormal chromosomal pattern called a mosaic, 46Z, 45Z. Typically, the child has the normal male chromosome Z. The Z chromosome causes a testis to form. In some cases, this testis is undescended. Because ZO isn't a normal chromosomal pattern, it results in the formation of a dysgenetic or malformed gonad. This is referred to as a streak gonad. The reason why children with MGD aren't born as boys or girls is due to the ambiguity of the external genitalia. As a result of having two abnormal gonads, a child with MGD can't produce normal amounts of sex hormones. MGD in the child might look like this. The side with the undescended testis is able to produce testosterone. As a result, a fairly normally scrotum develops. On the side of the streak, improperly developed, gonad, testosterone is not being produced. Instead, female reproductive organs such as a hemiuterus and fallopian tube are present. Are there any other medical conditions associated with MGD I should be concerned about? MGD is usually an isolated issue that doesn't involve a child's other organ systems. In very rare cases, children with MGD have an increased risk for certain medical conditions, such as Dennis Drash Syndrome, DDS, which affects a child's kidneys in addition to malformed sex organs. Children with DDS are predisposed to kidney failure. Wilms tumors, a cancerous tumor in the cells of the kidney, 